Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to integrate ClickUp with anything. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here with ClickUp, I need you to hit the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Integrating ClickUp with other tools and platforms is a straightforward process that can enhance efficiency, streamline workflows, and improve productivity because, for one, ClickUp offers a number of built-in integrations natively, right? And when you hover to the upper right corner where you can see the Quick Actions menu, if you click on that, you would see the App Center. And from the App Center, these are going to be the most popular integrations here in ClickUp, all right? So uh, there's a lot. And that makes it easy to connect with the most common apps and platforms. You have a Dropbox, a Figma, GitHub, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Jira, Microsoft Teams, Salesforce, Slack, Apple Calendar, um, Chrome Extension, Confluence, Discord, Dropbox, GitHub. So there's a lot. Now, we have a separate videos for uh, these integrations. If you are a big fan of our channel, you know we have covered so many ClickUp tutorials. And if you haven't already, you might want to click the sign up button so you get notifications on our latest content. We upload daily videos for you guys so that we can help you solve your problems quickly. Now, going back to ClickUp, I'm going to choose one sample for integration. I'm going to click on the Google Drive. As you can see, you can easily attach, create, and search for Google Drive files directly within ClickUp. All right, you can create a personal connection personal connected speech and you have all of these on your commands show scratch a sheet creates a new google doc creates new google sheet and creates new google slide i'm going to connect on my account as you can see all i have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions i'm gonna hit continue and i'm going to let click up access my google account now as you can see it's very easy right and all I have to do is do the, the same thing on the uh, apps that I wanted. If you have an account, for example, here Microsoft Teams, Salesforce, Slack, Apple Calendar, you know it or you name it. Just do with that, all right? But the idea is, of course, um, you can uh, integrate to anything using this native um, property. Now, one of the best way to integrate basically click up is using the uh zapier all right so zapier lets you connect click up with th thousands of the most popular apps there are two ways for us to do it number one is if you are already here in click up you might want to install zapier and of course connect once to add features for the whole team or we can simply hover to the zapier website itself you see they offer click up integrations you can do more with ClickUp integrations because Zapier will let you connect ClickUp with thousands of the most popular apps so you can automate your work and have more time for what matters most. All right, no code required. If this is your first time in Zapier, do not be afraid. It's really easy thing to do. All right, so you have all of these pairing apps, Google Sheets, Formatter by Zapier, Webhooks. I don't know. It, it's all up in the air. So you have all of these endless possibilities. But for the sake of the argument, we're going to select um, Google Sheets for now. Since we have already, oh, we're going to use Google Drive as an example. Now, you can connect ClickUp to Google Drive and automate your work and have all these endless possibilities by clicking this orange button to connect these apps. Now, as you can see on ClickUp, we just have to select the event. All right. Now, for example, I'm going to select it triggers when a new comment is added to a task in ClickUp or I'm going to select triggers when new folders are created. And of course, all I have to do is click on continue. Choose a value that's going to be deep labs, how to tutorial. The space is going to be like, so the information here 
is dependent on what you have all right in my case this is going to be what i have in my account and of course from here all i have to do is to test the trigger to see if that's working the idea is that integrating ClickUp with other tools especially like google drive is that it brings all the project related information into one center platform this eliminates the need to switch between multiple apps keeping everything accessible in one place now all they have to do is select the record and that's going to be a folder c now for the action event for google drive we're going to um create a file from text or create a new empty folder and go we're going to log into our account now i'm going to click on allow and just wait for it and click on continue and of course i'm going to choose the drive and that's going to be my google drive the parent folder is going to be this folder name is going to be um just wait for it and click on continue now you can test this tab to see that all is you see that click on uh, troubleshoot to see what's the problem retest the skip and from here all i have to do is turn the zap on you can now sit back and relax because zapier will do all the work for you now another option that you can do is using make.com wherein you can integrate clickup with anything here for more advanced integrations you can build up your clickup integrations have all these modules and connect any app with clickup these are going to be the uh, thousands of apps at your disposal all you have to do is log into your account if you haven't already it's easy to sign up for an account here and make that come now once you are logged in we're going to create our scenario and that's going to be click up go to the apps click on uh, type in click up and press enter and from here all i have to do is select the uh, automation that you wanted and you can select the apps that you want that way all you have to do is click on run once for example i'm gonna click this and we can choose a hook all right click on okay and from here you can add another module and that's gonna be all these applications under your disposals all right so i'm not gonna choose um choose uh, all of them but i'm going to uh, for example click on trello all i have to do is search for the uh, event and from there all i have to do is create a connection and click on save once you've done that all i have to do is type in okay and click on run once and you can sit back and relax because make that will do all the work for you thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video